Stay black in America, don't leave, don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. You can make all your dreams come true here. Then I'm going to talk about uh, Megan Piper's piece. Took me a long time to pronounce Piper's. Um, I found out about Megan um, maybe two years ago now. And um, way before all, I found out about it after, after she'd already done her star search and all those talent shows and all that kind of stuff she'd been through. I watched some old tapes and it happened to came, come across her. I thought she was one of the most talented people I've ever seen in my life. And not only talented, I thought she was so bubbly, so natural, so sweet, so loving, so like oozing full of the love of Christ. And I said to myself, let me, let me watch everything I can watch about it. I watched so much stuff about Megan Pipers at that time before she became peace. And my wife got jealous. <laughs> but I kept watching and learning and current on with it. And I, I saw her ups and her downs, her sadness and her wins. And, and her parents was telling her, like, you know, well, maybe this thing was not going to, you know, pan out the way you want to. So get your education. So she went back to school and got that, I think, the BA, the master's degree and those type of things. Uh, you know, and then she came back to doing her, uh, some shows and stuff, you know, some appearances and doing things. Her father was a preacher. She's hit, 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 she was a prayer, a, a prayer, a prayer warrior, a, a praise, a praise, a leader. And, uh, you know, I watched her little doggy pass away, how she felt about that. I watched a bunch of little things, a, a bunch of songs she made, a bunch of, man, just so many personal things. She's a very personal person telling you about her life. I watched when she was like putting on makeup one day and, and talking, uh, you know, like doing ventriloquism while she's putting on makeup. I thought that should have been on a commercial. <laughs> But, uh, you know, just me, just, just a big fan of hers, man. Don't know her personally, but seeing so many bits and pieces of her life that uh, it's like, they kind of like you, you do know somebody, even though you don't actually know them. You know, but I found her to be like, uh, you know, if, if ever there was a true Christian, she'd be that one. Yep, she definitely would be that one. Just a ray of sunshine, man. And, uh, you know, so everything worked out how I wanted to be a mother. A mother wanted her to get her degrees and, Make sure she has something set in life, and so she has those degrees. Uh, I was so happy that did um, that she married uh, uh, Mr. Peace. Seems like he's a wonderful man. Didn't have two sons. Man, how great is a woman to give a man two sons? I mean, that's that's extraordinary. You know, a lot of guys go through life and marriage and never have one son. And she's not only she's an exceptional woman. She gave the guy two sons, two sons, two sons. I mean, extraordinary. So I mean, it's just a blessing. Uh, God is definitely leading God in life. I can't wait to see what she's going to do. That's on Sesame Street now, which is historically, like, super, you know, in the heart of New York City. So I'm looking forward to being on a night show, the late night show, maybe have her own show and presentation, maybe be on Saturday Night Live. I mean, just a whole bunch of things because, I mean, it's nothing I don't think she can't do now. I mean, she can pretty much outperform anybody in the world. So uh, she's super talented. And when she got hoarse that time and couldn't speak, but she had a puppet voice, I found that hilarious. I mean, I was praying for her, but I found that hilarious. You know, so just, just everything about her. She's just a special, sweet, sweet, sweet lady. And um, man, I'll keep my prayers in there for her. We, we, have to, we, we, we will probably never meet, and it doesn't really matter, because she probably got millions and millions of fans. I'm just one in the bunch. But uh, you know, I'm that stay, stay black in America guy. Uh, Raised my four children. My youngest is 29. My wife has been married since 83. So we've had, we had a wonderful a wonderful life and good run. And maybe we, we'll have, we'll be like that commercial when ladies say, like, I'm 63. I'm 63. I've got a lot of life ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see about that, you know. But um, I um, just want to give her a shout out. I, I made a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel. So we give a bunch of shout outs to people. And we and, uh, been meaning to get her a shout out for a long, long time. So. Happy for her success, happy for her marriage, happy for her two precious sons, happy that she uh, loves Jesus Christ and she's a child of God and knows she's going to heaven and enjoying the trip. And she, show, she shows you that you can love God, be successful, still love God, and not some people like, like to think that it's a crutch. Not a crutch, man. Uh, salvation is gained through by gift. It's, it's a precious gift by grace. Jesus Christ died for our sins that we all can go to heaven. You don't go to heaven, you don't go to heaven because you choose not to. Because Christ died on the cross so that everybody go to heaven. All you do is repent of your sins, ask Jesus Christ to come in your heart and live, you know. Come in your Lord and your Savior and repent of your sins and you're going to heaven, man. Not confused and think about that. That's just is cut and dry. So, uh, you know, so happy for her success. So happy for all the things she's done. So, so happy for the things I know she's going to do in the future. And so, uh, look, stay black in America. Subscribe to my channel. Until next time. Bye.